Hey guys, just want to give a quick update of something I've been working on in the shop tonight. And uh, what you're looking at here is some of the blanks that I profiled out of my newest knife design, which I believe I referred to as the Spearpoint Hunter in a previous video. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and take one of these and do a little bit of profiling on the edge and get one ready for heat treat. Uh, I did already flat grind one, uh, put a full flat grind on one, and uh, started heat treating that tonight. Uh, but I figured for the second one I'd do something a little bit differently than I've been doing here recently, which is flat grinding my blades. Uh, typically I'd be putting flat grinds or uh, full flat grinds on these blades. Uh, I wanted to try a hollow grind on this one, so I got my 8-inch contact wheel out and uh, tried to brush up on my hollow grinding again. Uh, it's definitely been a while, uh, so it's a little bit of a learning curve for me again. Uh, but I'm fairly pleased with the results. Uh, definitely appreciate some feedback from you guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, I did get a little uh, crazy here, or a little daring, if you will, and uh, put a little swedge on there, uh, which will need a little bit of adjusting uh, after heat treat. I really don't want to mess with this blade anymore. Uh, until the steel is hardened and tempered uh, just because this is just about where I'm going to want it so that's a full hollow grind or what I would call a full hollow grind uh, which in other words means uh, that I really couldn't go any deeper with an 8 inch contact wheel uh, than what you're seeing right here uh, otherwise I would be removing more from the middle of the grind uh, than the edge and uh, really just we give a poor geometry there uh, but as you may be able to tell uh, we're right on the outer limits of that so uh, that's really about as deep as you can get uh, using 5 30 seconds of an inch thick stock uh, that's about as deep of a grind as you're going to be able to get on an 8 inch contact wheel and uh, to be honest it's a little bit deeper than I really wanted to go uh, but I think we're going to be all right with this uh, normally I would probably leave uh, at least maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch less of a depth on that grind. Uh, leave a little bit more flat on the spine, if you will. But uh, we were able to work it out. I had a little bit of trouble with that learning curve uh, at first, but uh, I think I got things smoothed out pretty well. And uh, definitely ready for heat treat once we get the holes drilled for the pins and the lanyard tube. Uh, and then we'll be able to polish it up with some finer grits. Uh, blend that swedge and that edge uh, exactly where I need it as well as the tip on that hollow grind needs a little bit more work uh, but I think we're at a good stopping point good place to go ahead and heat treat it uh, when I do have time to do that and uh, I'd say overall I'm uh, pretty pleased with how this came out so I uh, definitely like to hear what you guys think about it uh, as well as maybe uh, what kind of edge geometry you prefer. Hollow grind, flat grind, uh, saber grind, scandy. Uh, definitely a curiosity of mine. Uh, personally, my favorite's a full flat grind or uh, maybe a majority of a flat grind uh, up to that point, uh, for instance. But uh, I do like the hollow grinds. I do like other types of grinds. And uh, as you can see, I wanted to try something different and uh, kind of branch out a little bit on this one and uh, as you can see I also went ahead and put a swedge on there uh, which is something I don't normally do uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and try it uh, we'll need a little more blending there a little more refinement uh, but I think it's going to come out nice so uh, definitely excited to get this heat treated and finished and uh, this one will probably uh, go out for sale here as soon as I can do that uh, now, finding the time to finish it might be another story. Uh, I think we put a good dent in it tonight, made some good progress, and I uh, just wanted to show that to you guys. So I uh, definitely appreciate some feedback. Let me know what you think. Uh, overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, I think we got a good base uh, for finishing once this is heat treated and tempered. So uh, that's that. Uh, I think I'm about to call it a night. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up some tempering and some heat treating I'm doing. And uh, that'll be it. So uh, definitely appreciate the views, guys. I uh, appreciate any feedback you can give me. 
and uh, definitely stay tuned for more. Uh, hopefully I have more video up uh, when I finish this one uh, as I'm able to do so. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.